something else that Topanga was so completely known for was her wardrobe, her eccentric wardrobe. Um, have you had any fittings? Have you seen anything there may be thinking about you wearing? We actually haven't had any conversations about wardrobe yet, but um, one of the things I think is going to be interesting and is kind of a mystery for the audience is what are what is Topanga doing? Like, what what is her job? What's her role? Uh, when Boy Meets World ended, they had moved to New York uh, so she could go to law school. Did, did it work? Did she did she did having kids kind of throw her off of that path? So I think a lot of the wardrobe is going to depend on where Topanga is actually at at this stage of her life. Um, and so I'm excited to see that, and I'm excited for you guys to see it when you when you watch. Yay! I feel like she's like I feel like Topanga doesn't have on like power suits though. Do you feel like that? I mean, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I think even if Topanga was wearing a power suit, I think it would have a Topanga flair to yes. it. I don't. Think it would be you know a boring like steel gray non fitted suit. I think it would. I would have some Topanga, even though yeah. she kind of lost a lot of her um, eccentric qualities as the as Boy Meets World went on. Um, I think she always still carried a little bit with with her and kept her independent spirit. So I'm I'm interested to see what she can do to a power suit. <laughs> I mean, she'll rock it if that's where she's going. <laughs> um, you know, speaking of that, too, do you have, did you keep any clothes? I mean, I know it was a long time ago, but, like, do you have any random clothes of Topanga's lying around still? I don't have any random clothes. I have a lot of, like, Boy Meets World clothes that were things like cast gifts and right. crew gifts that we gave. Like, we have a Boy Meets World Letterman's jacket, oh. and we have a Boy Meets World bowling shirt. Wow. <laughs> a boy meets world sweatshirt. So I have all of that stuff that I've kept as you know um, mementos from that time. But as far as those famous to paint the sweaters with the stripe across the chest, I I got rid of all of those. Yes, that's good. I hope everybody who had one of those got rid of it too. So. Well, for nothing else. I don't know if you remember this or if you you've held on to anything for that long. But when you if you do hold on to something from the '90s and you put it on, it's like barely covers your <laughs> belly button. It's like. And I guess jeans were so much higher back yeah. then. So sweaters were so much shorter. But I've put on things that I've had forever. I've gotten rid of them now. But I put them on and I'm like, what? what, what who makes a crop top sweater? I'm like, what is this? So, yeah. I can't wear that now. Yeah. 